The prayer immediately before the consecration is the Quipridie. As the priest begins the Quipridie, he lightly wipes the tips of his thumb and forefinger of both hands near the outside edges of the corporal. He then takes the host in both hands at the words Acepit Panem, holding it upright with the thumb and forefinger of both hands, his other fingers extended and touching at the fingertips. His hands should not rest on the corporal. At the words Elevatis Oculis in Celum, he raises his eyes to the cross and then makes a low head bow as he says Tibi Gratius Agens. As he says, Benedixit, he makes the sign of the cross over the host with his right hand, keeping all his fingers extended, including the thumb and forefinger. He then bows profoundly over the altar, resting his forearms against the front edge of the altar, but keeping his hands above the corporal. He then says the words of consecration. The rubrics direct that the words of consecration be pronounced attentively with the greatest recollection and devotion, distinctly so that the words are clearly enunciated and pronounced a little more slowly than the other words of the canon, but still continuously, without any pauses between words, reverently, without any exaggerated enunciation or mannerisms, and in the quiet voice, maintaining the voce secreta, so that apart from any external noise, the priest can still hear himself. Walk est enim corpus meum. After the priest has pronounced the words of consecration, he stands erect and moves his hands to rest at the edge of the corporal. He genuflects, looking intently at the sacred host as he does so. He then rises and elevates the host above his head, but keeping it in a straight line above the corporal. He should keep his eyes intently fixed upon the host throughout the elevations without unduly prolonging the duration of the elevation. It should be a slow but continuous movement. He lowers the host and sets it on the corporal in the center, and then with both hands resting inside the corporal, the priest again genuflects. From this moment forward, until his fingers are purified at the ablutions, the priest does not disjoin his thumb and forefinger except to touch the sacred host. Every time he must place his hands on the altar, he must set them inside the corporal. He then immediately proceeds to the consecration of the precious blood. He uncovers the chalice and rubs his thumb and forefingers over the cup to dislodge any particles of the sacred host as he begins the prayer simili modo. He takes the chalice at the stem with both hands, right over left, making sure to keep custody of the thumb and forefinger of each hand. He elevates the chalice slightly above the corporal as he says, Acipiens et hunc preclarum calicem. He sets the chalice down and makes a low head bow at the words, Tibi gratias agens. Keeping the left hand on the stem, he makes the sign of the cross over the chalice with the right hand as he says, Benedixit. Then takes the chalice with both hands lifts it off the corporal, and moves the left hand underneath the base, while keeping the right hand at the stem just beneath the cup as he finishes the prayer. He then bows profoundly over the altar, with his forearms resting on the edge, and says the words of consecration. They should be pronounced in the same manner as the words of consecration for the host, attentively, distinctly, continuously, reverently, and quietly. Since these are the most important words of the Mass, it is best if the priest always reads them from the altar card, even though he may have them memorized. After pronouncing the words of consecration, the priest sets down the chalice, rests his hands on the corporal, and genuflects. As he genuflects, he says the words, Hec quotius cumque feceritis in me memoriam facietis. He rises, 
takes the chalice with the right hand beneath the cup and the left hand at the base, and elevates it in a straight line above the corporal, offering it to God as he shows it to the people. He keeps his eyes intent upon the chalice throughout the elevation. He then lowers the chalice, sets it on the corporal, takes the paw with the right hand, and covers the chalice, keeping the left hand at the base to steady it. He then genuflects. Most altar missiles will have a page turn at this point. Notice that when turning the pages after the consecration, the right hand is placed on the corporal and the left hand turns the page using only the second and third fingers. The priest then extends his hands and continues with the remainder of the canon. <laughs>